Hello guys, today I'm going to be wrapping up the visual force page basics. So I'm going to be designing the Salesforce login page. Something like this. So we are going to be designing this, this part, this part, this part, with the visual force page. We are going to put in the logo and this. So let's dive into it so let's open our developer console So the way we are going to do this is um, since it is, a, it is a login page we are going to use the apex form some of the things that I've, I've discussed in this uh, tutorial apex form So, or something like this, or something like this. On the image, want username, password, the login. So for us to do that, we need an image. But before we do that, let's add the 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 input so I'm going to do that see label first and label and put examining This four string the design. Then we add the apex apex inputs text. So for the iOS, it's the same thing for the bit paste. So we have the passport, which is the username. I will change this one to password. So we have for both 
this SH seven seven and saved. So I will preview this. So we have the username, the password. So let's continue. Have the, we have the command button. Save it or save. Saved. Let's preview. So we have the checkbox, we have the login, we have the uh, input for text box, and we have the for password and input for designing. So let's continue. Make it look nice. To make it look nice, make it look like this. We need to add some CSS style and uh, some diff tags. So let's do that now. So I'm going to make this easy as possible. So we are going to be adding div class. Give, give tag some of this. Let's start with this first. to add the 
class to this one this first So I'm going to be adding a container here. So from here we can add the style. Start with the body. So, CSS styling. You just need you need to understand what some of these uh, um, CSS styling uh, elements are doing. So, for the body. Let's add the background. Background color. So you can either use the you can either use the can either get the color code from the internet like you can go on google and search for the color code or you can just go to the page use the page this is looking like this we are going to be using this background color so let me refer this page How can we get this background color here? We can go to this expect For the body, this is the body. This is the body. This is the background color. This is a color code. The background color. You can copy this to your code and paste it. I 
many ways you can get the you can you can use color picker. There are many ways to get the background color. You can as well use Canva. So let's just check our so we have our username password, we have our login. So we need to add a container just like this one. This container here. We need to make it big and do some adjustments. So we do that by adding can add the margin. Like to go for hundred px margin, and I can as well add a display. What we using flex? You want to know? If you want to know what this uh, element are doing, you can go to W3 school. W3 school and check for those elements. We have margin. So imagine I used to create space around the elements inside of a divine border. We have the display, we have different kind of display, we have green, we have flex, we have flex, we have green, we have block, depending on what you are trying to build. So, let's have that. Let's add Try my best not to make this video long. It's okay, we are getting there. Let's make it more nice. So, we are going to be adding the Logo. It says first logo. I already have my logo in my static resource. You can download Salesforce logo anywhere online. So I already have my logo in my static resource. Go to I open my static resource. My logo, you can download your logo as well online. I do have to say so. I'm going to go back to the 
then I'm going to put the, the logo here has to be on top of the the login um, container so I'm going to add a bit first I'm going to add my logo also. I use value just that we draw the sky clouds. Name it Robo. And I'm going to add the cast here. I'm going to be using it in the style. I'm going to be using this one too in the style. So let's go to the style and uh, create an image style. Don't forget to put your dots. For the image, the div, div image here. Um, for this logo, I'm going to create another. So we have the image. Now we need to add the container that is we stay in. So let's go back to the container. So remember we have a diff class here, login container. Color. 
this background color so we need to check the color code for the container which is white white color is the uh, color code for white is you can check it online the color code for white is Again, if you want to know what these elements, if you want to know what they do, you can go to every three school to check for everything. And um, the address is this is five years. On the problem, I don't know. on the container Save it. Saving. Saved. Now we have the container. Container. We have the logo. So let's make this our uh, input uh, field. For both user and password, let make it nice in the container. So, we have the container and so uh, the, the input feeders from group, from group, the diff class. So I got to be creating the form group. But form I don't want to make this video very long because I want to make I want to make it short as possible. Form group.
Okay, this one group, let's let's leave for the label. This is the username and the password. So I'm going to make it which is the font width. Font width. If I use anything for it, I'll go to WG store and check. I'm going to be using a bold text. So let's save it. So that's what we done. So we have it bold, we have this bold. So we want to make this box, this input feed box, we want to make it big. So to make the Input field bold to make this input field this field this field to make it to make it big to make it look nice a little bit nice go to this I will create another form group for input for the username I'll create another form group for the password so dot from, from group input good for for the type is text. text. I'll close it. Yeah. Put it outside here. We add the comma. We add the next input. And the next form group input. Type passport. Close it. I will put the column bracket. So we add a uh, add padding. Um, we make it let's say 50, let's say 15 mpx. We add border the border is one. Solid and we have the um, width to width width. I'm going to be doing some calculation here to be on the safe side. To be using this card, hundred percent, the percent, how much? Two point five px. Okay, let's add uh, the radius. Let's add border radius. Open radius. Let's 
make it a 10 okay let's make it 8 I'm going to have to change it if it doesn't look nice okay let's save it saving saved let's check our So I need to preview it again. So this is our <laughs> this is our choose for us login page. So we have the login page. I don't want this video to be very long. You can watch the video, you can add the button, you can make the button, you can make the button, you can make it very long. Remember I me mean, the tech box, you can put it in the way it is done in this force, you can do everything. Yeah, with visual force page. So thank you for watching, subscribe to this channel, if you have any comments or suggestion, drop it in the comment section, I want to learn more about Visual Force page, drop it in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching.